Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to access AWS Lambda URL endpoint of type of authentication type AWS IAM. Yeah? As you know that AWS has recently introduced a new feature on AWS Lambda that is, you know, now we can access AWS Lambda with using URL endpoint. Earlier, this feature was not there. Whenever we were building the, you know, um, serverless APIs or serverless applications, so in that case, we used to uh, make Lambda sit behind an uh, API gateway and, and consume the API gateway URL as a endpoint of the Lambda. Yeah? So that was the traditional days. Now, uh, you know, AWS has made us some progress where they are now providing an AWS Lambda URL, which is acting as an endpoint to the URL to access your, you know, uh, uh, to access your AWS Lambda. Yeah. So basically, when you say, you know, accessing the AWS Lambda URL, there are two types of authentication is now allowed. One is, you know, if you don't want to, uh, you know, allow any kind of uh, authentication are you just keeping the access to that lambda wide yeah so in that case there is a no authentication is required the another method which is very secure method that is you know if you want to secure your lambda in in such cases uh, there is an available option called aws iam that is authentication type equal to aws iam yeah so here uh, there are multiple documents are available uh, you know where they will explain you saying like how do you access aws uh, lambda url when there is no authentication type yeah but when the when there is an authentication type equal to aws lambda so how do we you know access the aws lambda and and try to you know try to uh, do whatever the processing you want to do from the lambda yeah so in such cases this is the uh, this is the dedicated video where i have uh, done such certain research uh, research and uh, came out of an idea like you know how do we access this in uh, this aws lambda when the type equal to uh, when the authentication type equal to aws lambda from the postman yeah right now this is the version one i can say uh, in, the, in the next coming video, I will also explain you like, you know, how do you access in the real time SDKs, for example, in Python code. Yeah. So here I will use Postman. Yeah. As you see in this picture, this is the pictorial ori of my demo. So here we will use, uh, uh, you know, uh, Postman and uh, try to communicate our AWS Lambda, which is sitting in my AWS account where the, you know, it has the endpoint called URL and authentication is AWS IAM, yeah. So that's the reason this, you know, this picture, you know, helps you to understand what is being, you know, uh, showcased in this video. That is, we use a postman, we hit a request and we try to see a response if you are getting a response when the authentication type equal to AWS IAM, all right. So, okay, so with that note, let's directly jump to this demo. So before I walk you through the complete all steps, so uh, let me um, have a kind request. Please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, let's directly jump to this, uh, uh, you know, this demo. So here, this is my AWS uh, account. As you see, this is my AWS account. So in this one now, let me create a, a dummy Lambda. So when I say dummy Lambda in the sense, just an example Lambda, yeah. So let me give my Lambda name called uh, my YouTube channel, yeah. That is Quick Cloud Labs, yeah. All right, and uh, the runtime, let me make Python 3.8, uh, yeah and uh, let it be you know cross 86 underscore 64 architecture and the execution lambda so you should have some minimum permission execution lambda uh, you know role here i have one admin role so you see this is etl lambda access role which has which is an admin role yeah? it has admin uh, it has a admin permissions uh, attached to this role all right so this is the this was the earlier days okay this is the only setting which were available when we used to create a aws lambda but now they have introduced a new feature called you know accessing the lambda with using url yeah so in that case we need to extend the you know advanced settings yeah if you expand the advanced settings you see there are um, you know you see uh, there is a new feature called uh, enable function url if i can open this lambda so this is what it explains okay it will tell you like it will clearly tell you like you can access your lambda now with using url endpoint yeah now since in this video i'm focusing on you know how to consume the uh, aws lambda through the url endpoint okay so that's the reason i'm enabling this feature and here you see as i explained there are the two types of authentications are allowed three types of authentication types are allowed one is aws im which is a recommended one and which is very secure one yeah and the other one is none if you are keeping your lambda wide in the sense anybody can access it in it to the in the internet so in that case you can choose none then there is a one more option called configure cross region resources you know resource sharing so this is something like another option which is another authentication type which you can append to your you know your lambda but here uh, i want to show you how do we access aws iam yeah i am based one so in such cases just select the uh, aws iam one and that's all we are just creating a basic lambda yeah of of runtime python all right so you see it takes much you know it takes uh, less than you know uh, seconds 
uh, to spin up a, a AWS Lambda. Yeah? You see now our Lambda is spun, you know, it's, it's, it's currently, um, you know, live for us, you see it has been created and you see the function, yeah, functional, you see that there is a one more uh, new feature gets appended when you choose uh, AWS URL, that is functional URL. You see this is the endpoint which we were expecting, okay. Before that, I will uh, I will also walk you through the other properties. You see this is the basic uh, uh, Python Lambda getting created. Now, and it is printing the hello from AWS Lambda. Okay, so let me change this value so that you can, you are aware that, you know, we are receiving this message. Okay, so hello from cloud quick labs, yeah. So hello from quick labs, uh, uh, hello from cloud quick labs is the message will be printed when we were able to access this URL when we have provided a certain you know, required authentication that is AWS IAM authentication is being provided. Yeah. So this is the changes I made. I will go to the configurations and I will show you that you know that the changes which we are made are replicating here. Yeah. If I go to the configurations, you see the permissions, this has been appended. And in the trigger, it does not have any trigger. And in, in function, you see this is the this is the functional URL. All right. So this is not enough. We need to add one more thing. Okay. So now, uh, this is a blank URL, okay? So if I can open this one, you see it should be responding, okay? Because why it is saying per forbidden? Because, you know, uh, uh, because we are accessing this URL, we are accessing the Lambda from the internet. From the internet, there is no authentication mechanism is been provided, that is AWS IAM. That's the reason we are receiving a message called forbidden because, because it is not accessible from the internet. Okay, that is the security that we are providing, okay? All right, so this is not enough. I was telling one more step, okay? So one more step is we need to go to the uh, permissions. Yeah, in the permissions, we need to allow, okay? We need to add a resource-based policies, okay? So in this case, um, in this case, we need to add a permissions, okay? So what is the permissions? Since we have allowed AWS IAM, we have to dictate, okay, which identity from the IAM will access this, okay? So that is the configurations we do here. I go to the, uh, uh, you know, add permissions, uh, configurations of our Lambda. Then I will give the statement ID some dummy ID, yeah? let's say test. And here we need to provide a principal, that is a AWS uh, principal, yeah? So that is uh, the ARN of the account, user, a role, find the ARN in the IAM console. So this is, you know, the allowed values in the principal is, you can either choose account, give the account, or put a user, put a role, okay? So here I'm dictated, I'm, I'm targeting a user, okay? So let's let's say that, there is a GitHub action user which needs to access this Lambda, for example, yeah. So in case, in that case, you know, how do we access it? So that is the method I'm showing you here. So here I will give the ERN of the user, okay. So I, for this case, I have opened my IAM, yeah. This is my IAM page of my account. And in this one, I have these many users. So in this case, I will be using GitHub action permissions user. Okay, so this is the name I have given to my uh, IAM user. I will copy this ARN and let me put it here. Okay, so that is what we need to do. And inside this, you see there are multiple actions. Okay, so the, the principle which we provide here can have only one permissions. Okay, so that is how uh, that is how the permissions works. So such in, in this case, you know, I just want to invoke my Lambda, right? So that's the reason I add a permissions called AWS invoke function. Yeah? And in, the, perp, in, the, in the, the another property that is principal organization ID, which is not required. Okay, which is not required. Let me keep it, you uh, know, default vacant. Yeah, that's also this is the configurations we need to do at the policy statement level. And okay, under the under the configurations under the permissions. Okay, so if I scroll down, you see the test policy statement is added. Nothing but you know, there are two things we did. We blindly, you know, we we spin up we spun up a a, a blank AWS Lambda of authentication type AWS IAM. That is not enough, okay? So in that case, what, we, what did you do? We go to the policy statement and we added a policy statement where, you know, we allowed a principal of type user to access the Lambda of action AWS invoke, all right? So that is the thing we did it now. So now what we do is, I will, I will copy this URL. I go to the postman, okay? And let me put it here, yeah? And if you send it here, you will, you know, you will, you will, you will see forbidden error again. Why? Because you know there is uh, because we you know we have to provide a certain um, a certain authentication mechanism here. Okay. So for that case, I will just dictate you what is the thing that you need to follow. First one under the authorizations, you need to choose the type authorization called AWS uh, signature. Yeah. Because we will be using the AWS uh, you know signatures. Yeah. All right. Then in the in the add authorization data, you just choose uh, a request header only, and in the header. 
yeah in a header uh, make sure that you know you add content type equal to application json and in body since this is a dummy um, um, dummy url or a dummy lambda which does not which does not does any you know business processing or business logics so let's keep the body as it is but you can you know you can change according to your need yeah all right so this is the thing we did and uh, one more thing which is very important we need to do is you know we need to add here access key and access secret okay and also in the advanced settings we need to provide certain data like aws region so my lambda is in us east regions okay i will go back and this is the north virginia that is a us east region okay so for that case what i did is i have added us east one so you can do you can change the reason according to your lambda wherever it is sitting and the service name has to be lambda okay it is a small letter that is l a m b d a yeah and finally the service token okay so we have to get the service token so how do we get the service token that is the something i will show you so for this case what we do is we leverage the aws uh, we will leverage the aws cli you know mechanism i get a temporary you know uh, a service token temporary session token yeah that is a sts token secure access token yeah so let's get that with using uh, uh, you know aws cli okay for that case you know what you do is you should be having your system installed with the aws cli then only i can help you then only this video will help you to uh, you know get that uh, uh, you know secure session token yeah all right so now right now what i do is i will set the context in the sense i will configure the uh, I will configure the AWS CLI. That is AWS configure. Um, so this is uh, AWS configure. All right. So AWS configure. All right. So AWS configure. You know that you know AWS configure is nothing but this is a CLI command which will set the context of our AWS account with using uh, access key and and the secrets. Yeah. So that is what it does. So let's wait for you know it, it to respond. All right. So here, one, what we are doing here, you know, uh, when it while it responds, um, uh, let me go back to here. So here we need. Okay. So what we need here is we need two more, you know, um, uh, two more resources. One is you know we need access key and secret key. I should not be you know uh, taking the access key and uh, real time hard coded access key and secret, but I will be using the session based access key and secret. Okay. That is a specialization of this one. Yeah. All right. Looks like I did a command wrong. The AWS configure. Yeah. This is the spelling wrong. Yeah. This is spelled wrong, so let me use AWS configure again, and uh, here you go. So it is telling, okay, it is telling AWS access key ID. So this is my access key ID of the user. This is the uh, secret access key, and this is the reason and JSON. Yeah, that's all. So now what I do is I will do a STS get caller identity to show you that you know what is the user this is. Yeah. So once you hit this command, it will tell you what is who is the user, who is the user this is. Okay. So in ca in my cases, I have already used this key ID and secret. That's the reason I'm using the default one. But in your case, probably you need to create a new one from here. If I go to the IM and if you go to the credentials, yeah, secure credentials, you see these are the you know access key ID and the secret will be given here. Okay. All right. So now I'm not using this secret. Okay. For example, I'm using this access key id and the secret which i you know whenever i create a key i will be getting that secret and that secret has been put in here and that is helping me to establish a connections to my aws account okay now my session is started okay so when i when my session is started there is a one secure access token is be, will be generated on uh, for this session okay so that is something which i need now okay so now what i do is i will get the uh, secure access token okay so um, so to get the secure access token, let's let's Google what is the you know um, what is the command to you know uh, to get that okay so that is the uh, um, get uh, get secure access token yeah get uh, secure access get STS token get STS token um, get STS token able it's okay if you type um, get STS token AWS you will have a CLI command, okay, because you know every time we cannot keep the you know CLI commands in our head, right? So that's the reason I'm I'm just using the Google. And if I go down, and here are the plenty, you know, plenty of options available here, okay? So here I just use the this command, okay? So you see this is the command. Here, you know, we are here. They are telling, you know, if you have configured a MFA on your account, maybe you need to provide the you know serial number of your MFA device and the token ID. But in my cases, I don't have configured any MFA that's the reason I'm just using this one yeah all right 
So now what I do is I will just use uh, STS get session uh, session token and I will be using that session token uh, to access my lambda. Yeah. Okay. So this one and along with that I need to put a duration as well. In the sense duration in the sense for how long this you know session token has to be live. For this you know I'm just keeping by default that is a 900 seconds which is a 15 minutes. Okay. So now this AWS command will help me to get a temporary access key secret id secret key and a token all right so that's the reason i'm just hitting this one so what is that temporary secret you know key and idea so you see this is a key id and key secret so these these are the you know temporary um, or are the secure access token which will be lived for only for 15 minutes okay after 15 minutes you know this this will be you know this will have the expiry and you cannot reuse it okay that's the reason i'm just showing you this video yeah all right, so now what we need to do is, uh, since this is lived for 15 minutes, we use this and I will complete my demo, yeah? So in this case, you will we, you will have to copy this, you know, access key ID like this and paste it here, okay? So I will go here and I will put this here. And similarly, let's copy the other values, that is the access key, secret access key, yeah? And I'll go back, I'll go back and I'll put it here. So that is my um, uh, secret key. Yeah. Similarly, it also asking for secure token. Okay. So let's use the secure token as well. Okay. And I will put in here. So there is a secure token option available in the Postman. Uh, when you choose the option AWS signature. Okay. That is a one more important point. What I do is I will paste it. All right. Let's check if I have paste uh, correctly. If I go down. All right, so it's starting with IQ and it is starting with IQ. All right, so now I am ready. Okay, so I now equipped this um, AWS. Uh, I, I now equipped this postman with all required configurations. Now I should be able to send the request to this endpoint. You, here you go, right? So you see when I when I click on the button send, nothing but what I am doing here. So if I go back to the my PPT, that is what I I know I mean uh, here. Okay, so what we are doing here we are sending a request from my postman uh, called a request to the aws lambda which is uh, aws lambda url url which is a uh, secured by the aws iam and finally it is also giving a response saying like this message yeah that is hello from cloud quick labs okay which is i have configured in my okay if i go back to the code right that is what i showed you in the initial okay so that is what the response I'm getting right now. So if I go here, so here you go, right? We are getting this response, yeah? Yeah, so now that's all, so okay. So this is how, you know, this is how we need to, um, this is how we need to, um, uh, we need to communicate to the AWS Lambda URL when the authentication type equal to uh, AWS IAM, all right? So I need to show you one more thing, okay? So for example, let's let's choose, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's give, uh, let's take a, a secure access token uh, which is leaving for only for 10 seconds okay um, so it is telling that you know uh, valid value should be uh, range should be uh, 900 okay so i think the range is uh, not enough so let's uh, choose it as a something 90 seconds yeah all right so it will by default it will take only 15 minutes that's the reason it is telling so 15 minutes i cannot wait okay so, uh, i cannot wait it yeah so here what it happens is um, after the 15 minutes, if you try to access this, you know, it will fail. That is what I wanted to show you. Okay, so uh, for example, I will introduce some dummy here. And if I send it here, again, it will tell, I you know it is invalid one. Okay, so again, I have to remove this and send it again. Right, here, here you go. We are getting the, you know, we are getting the uh, the response from the Lambda. That is, that is, hello uh, from the CloudQuake Labs, yeah. Okay, finally, I wanted to show you something which is coming in the next video. That is, you know, how do I do it in a programmatic way? Okay, so that is something, you know, I am trying to explore and try to create a very dynamic script or a very dynamic code which can help you to uh, communicate to your endpoint in the next video. Okay, stay tuned and also keep watching my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. So with that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.